statement by Nkaiseri termed corruption and the media reporting of it as an internationalized hysteria aimed at harming the nation. He also said the, he also accused the media of what he calls castigating the government as irredeemably corrupt. But is corruption in government really a creation of the media? Here now is a statement made by President Uhuru Kenyatta himself two years ago on corruption in his own government. The biggest corruption in Kenya occurs in the office of the president. The security related agencies are the basis of corruption in this country. Wakifichana, wafikiria ya kwamba ati ni mambo ya security ati hapo nipo watu watahunda pesa. Is corruption really a creation of the media? Let's take a look at just some of the big scandals that have hit the country this year and remind the government of their origin. It will surprise you, or perhaps not, to know that many of these scandals that we are about to see in our Super Bowl originated from the government itself. Remember this? 791 million shillings was lost in the National Youth Service. Let me remind you a genesis of that one. Initially, we heard from Cabinet Secretary in Devolution, Anne Magu, saying no money had been lost. A few months later, she came back and told the media, and indeed, the country and the world, that indeed, 791 million shillings was lost in the National Youth Service. That matter is under investigation. She went before the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to explain how this money was lost. That came from Cabinet Secretary Anne Waigo and not the media. 200 million shillings fraud, about 180 to 200 million shillings fraud suspected at the Youth Fund. Again, this did not come from the media, but indeed came from the chair of the Youth Fund himself. And he is the one who announced to the media about this loss of money and about um, the suspension of the CEO of the Youth Fund in Kenya. Again, that not a fabrication of the media, but coming from the government itself, whom we would imagine would be the most credible source of information in the country today. Let's take a look at other scandals that have bedeviled the country in um, this year alone. Remember the Auditor General's report that was released, again, not by the media, but by the Auditor General himself, telling us about 67 billion shillings that was not accounted for in government spending for the previous financial year, again, not a creation of the media, but of the Auditor General himself, a body and an, org an institution that is mandated by the Constitution to provide oversight over the country's expenditure. And from that Auditor General's report was the other big scandal that came out, again, not from the media. The euro bond that was floated by the country, 2 billion US dollars, about 200 billion Kenya shillings. That money was put in an offshore account contrary to the Public Finance Management Act. That again came out of that report by the Auditor General and not the media. Remember the 8 billion shilling Karen Land saga, for which suspended Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu is now facing charges in court for obstruction of justice and obstruction of the investigations into that. Again, this is a suspended Cabinet Secretary who herself has been suspended and is facing charges in a court of law. Again, that not a fabrication of the media. So let's take a look at another scandal I believe we have today, and we want to just continue to paint this picture. Um, excuse that typo there. The Lanata Primary School grab. Remember this one? And that sort of a chain of events across the country in which even the government itself is helping primary schools across the country to ensure that their land is not grabbed. We remember children being tear gassed by the police in the country. That was not a fabrication of the media, but events that actually took place. 